fast-moving Hurricane Charlie was first predicted to make landfall in the Tampa Bay area. However, as Charlie approached the Florida Gulf Coast, it made a dramatic and sudden turn to the south. Revised prediction put landfall in the Fort Myers area. Now, Punta Gorda was concerned and they were preparing for a possible 10 to 12 foot storm surge. Many, as my wife and I did, decide to ride the storm out with neighbors in newer homes that could withstand such a surge with limited flooding and damage. Belongings were moved to the highest possible ground. Cats and dogs were secured. The feeling was somewhat light and casual. However, moments before the power went out, the storm track shifted once more, putting Hurricane Charlie now building in strength on a direct course for Punta Gorda. Instantly, the concern for our future became our reality. Hurricane Charlie made landfall in Punta Gorda, Florida at 3.45 p.m. on August 13, 2004 as a Category 4 storm. Packing winds in excess of 140 miles an hour, it tested the strength of our buildings and of our people. The damage was painful. Every sunset, there is a sunrise with new hope. And Thanksgiving. Many businesses were challenged by Hurricane Charlie. Pies and Plates, a gourmet specialty shop, cafe, and espresso bar was one of them who met the challenge head on. Their comeback has been impressive. In 2006, Pies and Plates was presented with the Retail Leadership Special Achievement Award by Gourmet News Magazine, in part for their strong recovery. In 2007, Pies and Plates was selected as the Business of the Year by two area chambers. And in 2009, Cindy Murphy, owner of Pies and Plates, was named the Retailer of the Year for Leadership by the Florida Retail Federation. I'd like to introduce you to Cindy Murphy, the owner of Pies and Plates. Cindy, I know you were challenged by the aftermath of Hurricane Charlie, but can you share with us some positive experience? Well, Hurricane Charlie really caused us to look outside the door and see what was happening in the community and to get involved in the community and find ways that we could serve the community. Uh, we had coffee therapy here at Pies and Plates and it was a great experience to be part of the community.
matter where you live, you are subject to the wraps of nature. On the west coast, it's earthquakes and fires. In the Midwest, you're dodging tornadoes. In the north, it's ice and snowstorms. Any community in our country can be faced with the challenge of putting the pieces back together. The people at Punta Gorda faced that challenge and they grasped the opportunity to revitalize into a stronger and more vibrant community. Punta Gorda rose up from the tragedy to become a city of vision and success. Once again, my name is John Magnan. This is Punta Gorda TV. And I hope you will join us again as we continue to explore the people and places of Punta Gorda, Florida. Thank you for joining us. Look forward to seeing you soon now. Take good care. Bye-bye.